Oh, hi. I um, went ahead and put the Gibbs equation up on the board, and it's delta G, the free energy, is equal to delta H, the enthalpy minus temperature times delta S. And um, we can get at delta G another way, and this is how it's often experimentally determined without having to go to the book and get values for delta H, delta S, or reactions that we manipulate like we did in the past. Delta G is related to R, T, and the, um, if you will, equilibrium products over reactants. And the little equation is negative RT natural log of K. There's a minus sign out in front of here. And if delta G is equal to minus, so if all this stuff here is positive, we would say that the system's spontaneous. And in order to do that, we have an R value, which is a positive number, and R is equal to 8.314 with the corresponding units of joules per mole Kelvin. Temperature is always going to be positive because we're using Kelvins. And I made a little note here. It could be anything that you're measuring it to be where the experiment is. 298 is taken to be room temperature, 25 degrees C, somewhere around 72 Fahrenheit. So if we do a reaction out on the table, expect a temperature near 298. But this temperature, regardless, is always going to be positive. Now, if we have a reaction that's favoring products, where we have products over reactants being a very large number, something greater than 1, then this number is going to be greater than 1 and you can check this out on your calculators, take the natural log of a number greater than 1, and you'll have a positive number. So if this is positive, temperature's always positive, R is always positive, negative sign out in front, this is going to be spontaneous. So we can plug in numbers, or something very conceptual is to say that K is products over reactants, and if we have more products than reactants, this number is going to be big compared to the number 1, and this process is going to be spontaneous.